Hello. Ethics and safety over the internet. Now, a PowerPoint to be presented for you in which I will show you how we are going to apply ethics and safety. Now, all the images that I have used here are from Google Free Images and they have been taken for educational purpose with gratitude from me. I thank all the makers and uh, it's good that I have got them for my PowerPoint. Now, what is this chapter about? This chapter is about how we can be ethical on the internet. Now, what is ethics? Ethics means judgment of good and bad. To choose the right in spite of the wrong being more attractive. To be helpful. Not to take advantage of someone's weakness. And to have a control on our desires so that we don't end up harming anybody. When we are at risk, then is it good that someone comes and takes advantage of us? That is why ethics is important. Okay. Now, what are the uh, ethics over the internet? Because these days, the whole world is connected with the help of internet. Everyone must be responsible in their ethical behavior. No one should use the internet for harming anyone else. People must know how to guard themselves and save others when the internet is active. So people all over the world, when they are connected on the internet, there are so many things that may go wrong. That may be, may be that someone who is not good intentions, no one, some people with uh, bad intentions, they also have to be caught, right? We have to stop them also, isn't it? This is why it is important to know the safety measures and we'll also see the ways in which we can apply. The computer users on, uh, and the internet users must know what is right and what is wrong, how to safeguard themselves and others, and how is the internet useful. But what are the risks? It's very important to know the risks. Okay. Now, uh, when we talk about the advantages, then we should know what are the ways in which the advantages reach us. The social networking sites and look at all these logos. Don't you think these logos are actually very attractive and you know them? You can try to name them. Okay. Now, these uh, social networking sites are web-based service that enables one to communicate and share matter with people all over the world. And we can stay in touch. We'll discuss few of the uh, social networking sites here. The first and the most famous one is this. No one can say that they don't know what is this. This right, it is Facebook's logo. It uh, helps us to connect family, people and friends all over the world. We can share our photographs. We can share links, messages, sound, videos. And we can even choose people whom we want to keep in our network. It's not that we have to make friends with everybody all over the Facebook. We cannot even make so many friends, isn't it? Then we have got LinkedIn. LinkedIn means it is a, a website that helps in professional uh, networking and helps in career building. When people uh, look for job, job opportunities, then uh, they uh, come to the web, uh, website of LinkedIn. It even helps us to find suitable people when uh, some companies look for eligible employees. So that's why this website is dedicated. You don't put your personal things in LinkedIn website. Okay. Then we have got, uh, this is alphabet P. And P stands for Pinterest. Now, this is a website that uh, helps people to connect uh, items from other websites. That means there is a collection of uh, important websites and that is done by other users. So, it is actually basically a uh, guide to the new internet user who wants someone to help them. Now, do you know there are billions and billions of websites that contain some information. And the same information, if it is not searched properly, then it can create a lot of confusion. So that's why it's always a help that someone is around to help me out 
बिकॉज आई एम अ न्यू कमर और इफ आई एम इन अ हरी आई टेल अ फ्रेंड डियर फ्रेंड कैन यू प्लीज हेल्प मी आउट बाई शॉर्ट लिस्टिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड द मोस्ट बेटर वन दैट्स वाइन ओके देन राइट देन वी कम टू सम एडवांटेजेस ऑफ सोशल नेटवर्किंग साइट्स ना देर आर मेनी एडवांटेजेस एंड नियरली एवरीबडी आर टेकिंग एडवांटेज ऑफ सोशल नेटवर्किंग साइट्स दीज डेज like uh, it helps us to collect information on any topic and it has got this opportunity of expressing your own opinion so if you have got to say something it is very easy to pass it via social networking site as against newspapers or tv if you have to come on tv then either you have to be very famous or very rich or you have to do something very extraordinary only then you will get a chance to come on tv but uh it's a matter of that that way it's a matter of luck also but social networking sites are so uh, friendly and open to anyone who wants to say something you can easily say what you want and here we come to the disadvantages don't think that everything is good there are so many risks also one of the highest risk is the addictivity so many times it so happened it has happened with me and i think it must have happened with many of you that you sit for maybe uh, you think that you want to search an information and you will sit for only 10 minutes or 20 minutes but the moment you enter the internet and the social networking site so many times some people end up spending 2 hours 4 hours or even 6 hours so this is a Mm, risk actually this is a very uh, not a very good advantage the addictivity part and there is the risk of forged identity online theft you don't even know which which person may uh, follow you someone may even uh, track your uh, timings and look for your a slip a small slip that once you forget to close the website or once you open a wrong website and immediately they will track you back hmm so that is also not a very good uh, advantage then we come to cyber ethics this cyber ethics means it's a set of moral rules that should be followed because every person should be responsible over the net so the netizen the citizens of the internet should be responsible and should respect everyone else all over the world so that the cyber space which we we have got so many advantages from is a safe place right that is why the internet laws are also made so these laws which are also called cyber laws they guard people from doing wrong so the kind of things that are illegal over the internet are spreading of virus hacking inappropriate messaging cheating bullying and these things are different different things let me tell you what these are like cyber crime so there are many uh, types of cyber crime which can cause harm to small people or innocent children can get harmed innocent users can get harmed and so many new users we have got over the internet these days isn't it so let us look into some cyber crimes you know this cyber crimes are to be handled very carefully and we should remain active as good citizen you know there is something called plagiarism which means is a act of stealing someone's idea without giving uh credit or taking permission because if someone has thought of uh, something which is very difficult and someone has made a plan then is it fair that uh, it gets stolen by someone else it's not na it was you have thought of something and someone else goes and tells that uh, it is that person's thought hmm similarly piracy piracy is also the act of stealing software uh, for illegal use that means someone makes a software and someone else takes a copy of it and sells it in the second person's name and then there is pirated copies the pirated copies actually are uh, not good they should not be used because there is very high chance of corruption or virus in them so uh, pirated copies are a kind of plagiarism in which someone's software is stolen or someone some other but you must have heard of those pirated movies like someone has made a very good movie and people the makers they will get, they need to get the money recover the money that they have spent on the movie isn't it so is it fair that uh, that a thief goes to the movie hall makes a video recording of the movie in a hidden manner and then comes out and sells it off saying that 
you get it from me at a cheaper rate then how will the makers get the money back how will they be able to make uh, other movies that will entertain us or teach us things right then you have got something called cyber bullying cyber bullying means um harass harassing somebody a small child is threatened or is bullied or is harassed with unhealthy comments so if someone gets uh, bullied then that person should speak up should not stay quiet and tolerate you know and some more cyber crimes are uh, hacking hacking is also something which is very harmful and very very risky it is a very skillful act where a so uh, where a person gains illegal access to another person's computer and uh, and actually does many wrong activities like you know stealing from bank or uh, passing uh, gossip or uh, unethical comments from the uh, victims uh, message box kind of so hacking is something very we should be very uh, keep ourselves safe from the hackers you know and uh, spoofing and phishing is also something similar to hacking in which the the thief or the unethical person pretends as if there is known or is someone good and then after getting access they cause all the harm okay so uh, hacking is something very bad and spoofing and phishing is another way of uh, performing illegal activity and there is something called spamming you know what spamming is it is not actually kind of uh, immediately harming someone but it is like you know flooding someone's email or uh, mail with huge number of messages as if 200 500 1000 messages are sent it's mainly used for advertising and this junk mails and messages it blocks the user's uh, account and the user cannot enter or sometimes loses the memory so spam can consume the memory and therefore some important data may get lost okay another uh, aspect that is everybody knows computer virus and spreading of computer virus is one of the very uh, common crimes over the net and this is like you know causing a loss to the person who is getting attacked a many types of computer virus and the viruses can even make someone's computer go absolutely blank or get locked or there's so many uh, bad effects and this kind of one of the bad effects is denial of service also it is something like you know when someone's website is flooded with data or is uh, attacked by a virus then the person cannot get access to the uh, website and then it becomes a huge amount of tension and financial loss to the victim that uh, what will happen if i can't now there are so many companies so many uh, workplaces they are totally dependent on the computer so if if it uh, if it uh, is becoming inactive then how will they get access isn't it and therefore we get this cyber police who comes to protect our cyber rights the individual right to privacy there is a right that no one should enter someone else's private area so every individual has a right to be private not to share things that they don't want so you cannot force someone to tell the password or force someone to uh, share the photograph and it is also not right to use someone's photograph or someone else's you know that is very wrong and there is a uh, property right it's called intellectual property right that if someone's idea is stolen by somebody then it is a crime okay so there is a cyber police or there is protection possible for people to guard their ideas and we uh, learn this digital footprints you now digital footprint is something like when you are online always remember that you can be traced back traced back using the digital footprint that means if anyone is on internet then it is possible for the cyber police or the experts to find out from where this message has been sent that's why these days if you go to any cyber cafe or any private uh, any public place where the computers are given for private use those places you have to register yourself 
you have to write your name phone number address and any security number and the time when you are sitting so that if for any reason uh, a person with unethical intention is doing something wrong then the trackers can track back using the digital footprints from where this message was sent so anyone using the internet with any harmful intention can always be tracked back but for that good people or the other people will have to remain active and we have to report it to the cyber police or the cyber cell okay so let us finally wind up saying what are the safety measures the safety measures are children must have proper guidance of either parents or teachers or any elder while they are online no one should disclose the password to anybody because there is no guarantee that the password is getting told to someone who is good you should not go to unknown sites or chat with unknown people because god knows who the other person is you don't know those other unknown people personally and there is no guarantee that the other person cannot cheat hmm. then uh, identify cyber bullies if anyone bullies anybody then the cyber bully must get caught and if any small child or anyone is getting cyber bullied by a bully then always inform an elder and you must install antivirus because antivirus might cost you a bit it is should not be free or uh, easily you know just like that it should be something which is purchased properly and it should be updated because it is something like buying lock and key or putting you know security in your own house okay so this brings us to the security chapters end you should be safe and you should be good and happy and helpful okay bye